On October 22nd, 1962, President John F. Kennedy broadcast a special message to the nation from his office in the White House. <laughs> Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive-minded <laughs> missile sites is now in preparation on... <laughs> now in preparation on the imprisoned island, the purpose of these faces. <laughs> the United States answer to what Adlai Stevenson termed Soviet blackmail in Cuba was a quarantine of all offensive weapons being shipped from Russia to that island fortress. The U.S. threw up a steel fence prepared to stop any vessel carrying materials of war. I tell you this because I believe the uh, imperialist aggressiveness makes them extremely dangerous and that uh, they uh, carry an, an invasion out. The United States arrived at the decision for an arms blockade after studying reconnaissance photographs made with high-powered cameras from planes flying several miles from the Cuban coast. These cameras are described as capable of spotting a golf ball on a putting green from 40,000 feet. Literally thousands of pictures can be made on each flight by these planes and they are studied by photo interpreters who are capable of analyzing details that an untrained eye would miss. Here, for example, is a medium-range ballistic missile base that has been labeled by these specialists. Suddenly, the veil is torn from the Russian secrets. Another photo revealed a surface-to-air missile assembly depot, a base to supply the offensive sites. Russian technicians ripped through heavy jungle growth to carve out airstrips for high-performance MiG-21 jets, a plane easily capable of strikes far into the United States. The United States went to the UN Security Council for a resolution calling for a withdrawal of all offensive weapons from Cuba. A delegation from the island heard Utant call on both sides for a three-week freeze, but the Secretary General was told that President Kennedy wants the missiles scrapped first. Valerian A. Zorin's boss, Khrushchev, proposed that the U.S. withdraw its vessels and he would stop shipments. President Kennedy's missile scrapping demand was his reply. The U.S. resolution was firm and strongly worded. <laughs> 